48 basi ziko na panda deja fro kule vinakuwa danger vraiment joyezi ma 48 de yote yote ziko na panda vraiment Karantwiti basi ziko na panda deja fro kule vinakuwa danger vraiment joyezi ma 48 de yote yote ziko na panda vraiment Vraiment, la situation que nous avons fait. Nous avons fait un petit peu de temps. Nous avons fait un petit peu de temps. At least two UPDF soldiers have been injured in an ambush by rebels in the Voratairo Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. The rebels waylaid the UPDF convoy at Bulahi along Bunagana Rochuru Road. It is true. Two UPDF soldiers were shot in the head by the rebels in DRC, said Army spokesperson Brigadier Felix Kulaije. He said the incident occurred at around 4 a.m. Kulaije said the soldiers were admitted in critical condition at the UPDF field hospital in Bunagana. The bullets are still in the head. The UPDF is now investigating the identities of the attackers. It is suspected to be M23 rebels conducted today's ambush. They said, We, the UPDF, are co-located with M23 rebels in Ibunagana, Rutulu and Kiwanja and said a source who preferred anonymity to speak freely, adding that they are the most active militia group in their area of operation. But Kulaija quickly dismissed the claim that M23 were behind today's ambush, saying that they are not co-located with us. They said that, he said that, they are occupying areas they vacated. East African leaders earlier this year deployed the East African Community Regional Force to facilitate the disarmament and, and cantonment of militia groups operating in Eastern DRC. The troop contributing countries are Burundi, South Sudan, Kenya, and Uganda. Following the deployment of East African Community Regional Force, M23 handed over some of its territories to East African Community Regional Forces. However, the DRC government said the M23 rebels later reclaimed some areas they previously controlled. Kulaija said UPDF soldiers returned fire as soon as they came under attack by the rebels. Kulaija said, of course, we responded to the attack and the rebels, who were about six in number in Banana Plantation, fled, he emphasized. The implication of the attack, said Kulaija, is that when fired upon, we will fire back. Interestingly, informed defense officials say UPDF is in pre precarious situation as it continue to operate in fragile environment full of state-backed rebels. Kinshasa says the M23 rebels are backed by Rwanda. On the other hand, Kigali accuses Congolese armed forces for helping the FDRL to attack Rwanda. So, here we go said the defense official adding that fighting m23 could undermine our relations with rwanda while battling congo backed militias such as wazalendo means antagonizing kinshasa which is supporting the operation shuja against adf terrorists the source said updf is in a catch 22 situation The Wazalendo forces last week dislogged M23 rebels from Masisi. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.